news, a sickening assault on a railway worker and mother of one died after being spat on by a man with COVID-19. A railway ticket officer worked who died over coronavirus after being spat at while on duty was a good person, a good mother and a good wife who cared for everybody, her devastated widower said. Belly Majinga, 47, was on the concourse of Victorian Station in London <clears throat> on March 22nd when a member of the public who said he had COVID-19 spat and coughed at her and a colleague. Within days of the assault, both women fell ill with the virus. Miss Majinga, a mother to 11-year-old Ingrid, was admitted to Barnet Hospital and put on a ventilator but died on April 5th. Her trade union, the Transport Salaried Staff Staffers Association said her husband, Luzamba Gode Catale, said the suspect walked up to Miss Mujinga and spat in her face. The man asked her what she was doing, why she was there, and she said they were working. The man said he had the virus and spat on them. They reported it to the supervisor. Belly came ho home and told me everything. Mr Catterley said his wife had an operation four years ago and had underlying respiratory problems. Within a week of the incident, she began to feel ill and was admitted to hospital on April the 2nd. That was the last time I saw her. We just said be good and that God is in charge. We did a WhatsApp video in hospital, but then I didn't hear from her again. I thought she might be asleep, but the doctor to phone me to tell me she had died. Speaking to ITV News, her cousin Agnes Natumbia said the family was still mourning. The union has reported the incident to the Railways Inspectorate, the safety arm of the Office for Road and Rail, for investigation and is taking legal advice on the situation. We are shocked and devastated in Belly's death. She is one of the far too many frontline workers who have lost their lives to coronavirus. <clears throat> Sadly, Belly's is just one of many family tragedies where children have had their parents taken away from them. However, there are serious questions about her death. It wasn't in inevitable. As a vulnerable person in the at-risk category and her condition known to her employer, there are questions about why she was, wasn't stood down from frontline duties early on in this pandemic. Rather than talking about the ease in the lockdown, the government must first ensure that the right precautions are and protections have been taken so that more lives are not lost. Our rail industry needs to have a very serious look at what tasks are deemed essential and must put protections in place for all our members and all our passengers. Manual Courts TSSA. British Transport Police are now investigating, although it is believed that the complaint was not registered with them at the time, despite Miss Malinga and her con colleague asking staff at employer, employers. Govia Thames Link Railway to contact police union said, British Transport Police have now launched an investigation into a report of two members of rail staff being spat at while working at London Victoria Station on March 22nd, 2020. Anyone with information is asked to contact British Transport Police BTP by texting 61016 or calling 0800 440 5040. British Transport Police and quoting reference 359 of 11th of the 5th 20. A spokesman for Prime Minister Boris Johnson called the incident despicable. It is a despicable for a key worker to be attacked in this way while serving the travelling public, the spokesman said. Our thoughts are with Miss Majinga's family at this terrible time.